Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave, and today we're going to be looking at Ralph Randnick's Manchester United and transfers they should be making in January and the future. Of course, all of our analysis and stats come from the wonderful guys at SofaScore. I haven't checked out their app. There's a link in the description below. But anyway, let's dive in. So first up, when looking into transfers, we have to do a little analysis on the squad. Where are the holes? Tactically, how can Ralph Randnick improve the current United squad? Randnick's favoured the 4 triple 2 at Manchester United so far. Two interiors, two centre forwards, two number sixes and two full backs that provide width in the final third. The first potential problem when you're looking at the Manchester United squad would have potentially come at left back and right back. But Randnick has decided to use the likes of Alex Telles and Diogo Delo who are really good in the final third. I think from an attacking perspective, uh, we haven't seen as much as we could have done from Manchester United's fullbacks in the Premier League this season. Uh, Luke Shaw has been, you know, a little bit off his Euro Championship and uh, last sort of season form. And Arouan Bissaka needs to develop his play in the final third. Step forward, Alex Tellers and Diogo Delo. Alex Tellers' delivery for Manchester United from that left-hand side, either crossing to deep or looking for balls into the channel for Marcus Rashford, has been really good. But Diogo Delo has really upgraded Manchester United's right-hand side. His ability to not only play inside passes on his uh, weaker left foot but get into crossing positions and putting the ball into the box is an asset and a weapon for Manchester United and going forward I expect Manchester United to maybe stick with Alex Tellers on the left hand side even though Luke Shaw will provide great competition but Diogo Delo should be the go-to guy on uh, in the right back position this will allow not only uh, Jadon Sancho and Bruno Fernandes to come inside and playmake, but gives the option for Ronaldo and Rashford to move into the channels. Looking at the Manchester United squad, so if the fullbacks positions are kind of sorted in a sense, I think there's some uh, you know some good development there. Uh, centre half Maguire and Varane um, and Lindelof providing a little bit of cover and um, you know competition for either of the defenders, um, is decent. But I think looking at the, the first sort of maybe hole in the squad is at number six. I think Scott McTominay and Fred are perfectly suited to play the kind of Ralph Randnick Gagan pressing style. Both kind of excel when pressing high up the pitch, when squeezing the play. But I do think United are light in that position. Nemanja Matic isn't as reliable as he used to be. Uh, and I think Paul Pogba for Ralph Randnick will play as one of the interiors uh, higher up the pitch. Uh, you know, be it playing in a more of creative role in the inside left channel using his passing range over the top, but also linking with the other interior in Bruno Fernandes or Jadon Sancho. Which means at number six, there's got to be a player brought in. Of course, uh, two players that have been linked with Manchester United, uh, Bubakar Kamara, and uh, Mamadou Haidara from RB Leipzig. Let's start with the Marseille man, Boubacar Kamara, um, a young French central midfielder. Contract expiring in 2022 in the summer. There's massive speculation about where he's going to play, but I think he'll be perfectly suited to play under Ralph Rannick. His passing is different to maybe what Rannick would require, but that's not saying he doesn't have the range to play those balls over the top and be direct. For uh, Marseille this season, um, Sam Pauli's their manager, obviously the uh, you know, it's a great style. It's a little bit like Bielsa ball. But Kamara plays a nice role in midfield where he's basically that kind of pivot point and link man. His partner next to him uh, for Marseille is, uh, of course, Gwendozi. He's someone that provides a lot, a lot more pressure up the pitch, but also carries through the lines and plays more progressive passes, a role that Fred could do. So when you're looking at Kamara in a possession-based sense, he's basically going to be the one that's going to retain possession, but at times will look for those long switches. Obviously, under Ralph Randnick, you're probably going to have to see that a little bit more. You know, those balls over the top, the ability to play through, is going to be required of the 22-year-old. But as a defensive midfielder, he's a very good pivot point and something that Manchester United are lacking you'd say both Scott McTominay and Fred's skill set are probably more of box to box midfielders or aggressive midfielders that don't necessarily sit at number 6 whereas that's where I think Kamara could do a perfect job for Manchester United defensively is where he really shines he's been successful with 37.8% of his pressures over the last year ranking him in the top 2% of midfielders that's what we mentioned built for Gagan pressing in terms of his tacking ability uh, is very impressive and his reading of the play is good. He's ranked in the 89th percentile uh, for dribblers tackled and also the 83rd percentile for tackles won. You know, two parts that you think you're going to need 
in a Ralph Randnick side is that aggression in midfield. Of course, another option is Haidara, another player that kind of would be perfect in a single pivot. We've seen Haidara for RB Leipzig play at right wing back, play at right back, but also play in the pivot, double pivot, uh, or a single pivot. For me, Haidara, one of his best skill, one of the best performances have come as a, as a wing back, you know, providing the width in the final third. Uh, again, Champions League against Manchester United, Haidara. And grab the goal from a wing-back position. But of course, he would be signed and he would be brought in uh, to provide that kind of control in a midfield area. Haidara, similar to Kamara, has a very sort of safe passing style, but again, excels uh, from a pressing perspective. So when Man United have lost the ball, the work that Fred, Haidara, McTominay and Kamara are going to go through is going to be a lot. It's going to be extreme, but it's something obviously coming through the Red Bull Academy and Red Bull model that someone like Haidara can provide that. In terms of obviously the statistics for Haidara, uh, you know, he provides some uh, some good numbers from a defensive sense, but also from an offensive sense. Uh, let's take a look at him on sofa score uh, in the Bundesliga this season, but also in the Champions League. Uh, playing really well against PSG uh, in the double pivot off the bench. Um, Half played, 37 touches of the ball, and one out of one accurate long balls, three out of three tackles one, um, and a good display. And it kind of like that's what you, you'd expect from from Haidara, um, you know, in that defensive midfield position. Keeps the ball ticking along, wins it back, uh, and simply supplies his teammates, you know, playing next to Kevin Canfield. You expect Kevin Canfield to be the more creative of the duo, uh, and it kind of is reflected in the statistics throughout of his four tackles, one, one interception, two blocks, winning 80% uh, of his ground duels, um, but also completing four out of his six long balls. Again, that's stylistically perfect for Ralph Randnick. Um but again, look at that heat map, all action. And that's what you're going to expect from Ralph Randnick's double sixes in the Manchester United midfield, that they're going to be aggressive, they're going to press off the ball, but they're also going to provide that solid base for the interiors to combine and play make. And Haidara could be absolutely perfect for that role. In terms of um, Kamara, uh, as we mentioned, uh, Marseille uh, this season have been an absolute joy to watch. Uh, Marseille, uh, you know, very capable of either playing... Um, you know, a back three or a back four. Uh, Kamara, in terms of his role, very deep in his own half. Uh, against Nantes in League 1, 132 touches, 114 pass passes completed, a 95% completion rate and six out of his seven long balls. Another key stat for Ralph Randnick for a central midfielder. Also capable of playing in the centre of a back three, um, as he did in the game against... Uh, against Strasbourg, uh, you know, it appears to be a 4-1-4-1, but very much Kamara in a defensive sense was dropping in between the centre-backs, showing his positional versatility and something that Ralph Randnick could have him do. He played very much as a libero or a stopper in between Marseille's two centre-backs and did a fantastic job. Again, Sampaoli does play uh, a back three against two-man strike forces, as Bielsa does um, as well. So it's, it's an interesting one. Kamara, Haidara would be good options. In terms of Manchester United as well, looking for that, the forward line, uh, that's an area where potentially we could look for more recruits. Cristiano Ronaldo is not getting any younger, so a target man style player could be needed. Um, and Vlahovic from Fiorentina would be absolutely perfect. The thing that I love about him as a, as a striker is Fiorentina are reasonably direct. They look into his feet. He comes off the line, they play it into his feet. Then he either looks first touch out wide or just link it to a teammate. This is perfect for Ralph Randnick's football. And on top of that, you know, in terms of stylistically, would absolutely fit in. Um, has got the frame, six foot three. But his goal scoring ability is absolutely fantastic. Only Lewandowski has scored more goals than Vlahovic in Europe's top five le leagues this season. And the 21-year-old has matched Cristiano's record of the most Serie A goals in a calendar year with 33 in 2021. Fiorentina are looking to cash in on their superstar. Left-footed, can finish really well from low crosses. I think he'd be the perfect guy to deal with a lot of that Ralph Rannick direct football, bringing in the likes of Marcus Rashford or Mason Greenwood, but as well could be used with Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, Ronaldo could go back to that poaching role and Vlahovic could provide that link from midfield and attack, but also getting himself into the penalty area after he's done that. I think would be a fantastic signing. Fiorentina want to sell. United may need more forwards considering Anthony Martial may be out the door. Interesting time to Ralph Rannick and for Manchester United. So thanks for watching, guys. Of course, check out SofaScore in the link in the description below and let me know one player you want Manchester United to sign in January. I've been Statman Dave. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you later.